Hey gang, thanks a lot for joining us back on the channel. I really appreciate it. My name is Rick Conti. As a national Corvette sales specialist, yes, we're going to talk about the current Corvette marketplace, but I also like to share the, the lifestyle with you and through you guys. We have such a fun time doing that, and I really appreciate your support, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch today. Uh, today, I was actually supposed to be, I'm a little bummed right now, I was supposed to be at the Corvette race, and uh, Hey, here's the thing, I've been I've been working a lot of hours and I've been on the run quite a bit, uh, traveling and what have you. Uh, I just haven't been home. <laughs> and I really wanted, I wanted all the kids and myself to go to the Corvette race today. Well, this one's indecisive, this one doesn't want to go, this one, yeah, I kind of do, I, I, it just, it wasn't a together thing. And my wife knows how important this is to me. She just said, I was surprised she said it, but because I've been gone so much, she said, hey, why don't you just go? I know you like the Corvette race. I haven't been here since 2012 in mid-Ohio. Why don't you just go? Well, I just didn't, I felt guilty. You know what I mean? I just, I just felt guilty. It's like, your dad's been gone, and then I'm gonna be gone again, maybe taking one kid. And I thought, well, if we're not doing it all together, then we're just we're just not gonna do it. So yeah, I'm bummed, but I'm gonna be home and give me an opportunity to do this upload. So yeah, I, I was gonna have that part to share with you on the vlog, but I still have something relative to Corvette racing coming next week for you. So let's get on with today. Remember I told you earlier in the, in the Bash event series that well, I really didn't turn the camera on much and I didn't think I had a lot to share. Yeah, I did. I mean, we're, this is part five, the final one from our attendance at the recent 2018 National Corvette Museum Bash event. Now, in case you missed any of the other previous vlogs that we had covering this event, the links will be down below in the description. Check those out. You will need to have watched one of those to have an opportunity to win today's prize. <laughs> yeah, when I go to these events, I love to have fun. It's promoting myself, promoting the car, promoting the dealership I represent, and promoting you folks. Well, through this channel, it gives me an opportunity to do that. And again, I appreciate you taking the time to join it. So later in the vlog, there is going to be a pop quiz and there's going to be a prize. The prize is going to be, if you didn't see it in one of the previous vlogs, yes, our ZR1 poster that we made exclusively, but it is autographed by all the GM executives, Michelin. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So stay tuned for that. Had a lot of fun with you guys down there at the National Corvette Museum. I hope you enjoyed today's upload. you on your turf last year he's down here doing his thing he's got the cards asking everybody okay. if they're hungry you guys remember the smoky pig guy there he is right there uh, where's the truck at <laughs> you can't come down here and tease us like that you know i came out here pass out cards to see if we couldn't get some get some business up there get everybody to let them know we're here yeah we're, we're going there again we're today, going yeah. yeah he was with us last year water, and I was like, yeah i gotta give it that absolutely pork sandwich. Yeah, yeah good man I'm always be selling i love absolutely. it absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely. we will see you later smoky pig man People don't know we're out there, you know? Yeah, no, you're right, though. Actually, uh, as many years as I've been coming here, I think for, last year was the first year I come down there. What's your first name, for Scott. real? Scott. Scott. Doing Scott a nice up. job, man. Great Appreciate food down there. And what do you got, new new addition this year to the menu? We got beef brisket this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mouth's yeah. watering yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later this All afternoon, right. bro. Thank you, sir. Hey, earlier in the segment when we're covering the bash, I walked by this car, but now I finally get to meet the owner. And it's not just the owner of the car. This is my customer, Sam from San Diego, baby. Yeah. What's happening, man? I was excited to see he drove this car all the way from San Diego. And what did you say to me this morning? I said, oh, you drove all the way from San Diego. Well, yeah, but it's a Corvette. It's made for driving. It's made for driving. That's exactly <laughs> right. I love it, man. I appreciate all your support. You've been a great customer, and your car looks fantastic. I mean, we're in, uh, was that your idea to do the stars, or someone give yeah. that to you? No, you know, when I ordered the car from you, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I got this paint scheme or color scheme my intention was to do just that to put stars on it never seen it done and i hope i never see it again because that's so unique it's i mean good for you that car looks fantastic i get a lot of comments, oh, lot of yeah, comments. i get waved down on the freeway yeah. yeah well what's cool about your car too and uh, we never really talked about it i mean i put some stuff on on uh, my corvette conti site and facebook but your car was the very first Grand Sport delivered here at the National Corvette Museum. Right, it was first one prepped, and I'm by two and a half minutes, I missed being the first one out the door. Yeah, and, and just <laughs> people, they're taking pictures, and it was coming in, and all the prep stuff, we're all getting excited. Yeah. I think you called me or emailed and say, hey, is that my car? It looks like my car. I think that's yeah. my car. It's like, yeah, that's your car, man. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, I'm excited Great. for you, man. Got a little museum in the background. Look at Sam, man. It's nice and early in the morning. Yeah. Got a beautiful day, and you're lined up here. Ready to go. Looks like you're uh, entering in the car show thing. I am. Now they did car show yesterday, so this is day two of the car show. Right. You know, and your comment was, "Oh, I'm not going to win anything." 
Why the hell not? Look at that thing. <laughs> it's, I, wish you, I wish you a lot of luck. Thanks. But uh, it's good to see Heidi on the channel. And it's good for me to have that opportunity to get out of the store and come here with you guys. So for me, it's not just about selling cars. I like sharing this with you guys. This right. is cool. See, well, you when... make the experience really easy. Thanks, man. And I mean, I'm all the way in California, and I'm thinking to myself, when I bought the first one from you, yeah. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a pain. But you made it painless Thanks, and man. very easy. And I, I really appreciate that a lot. Well, your flexibility and the opportunity means a lot. It really does. And I know at one point, I think I was in California with my daughter in July, I text you and I was going to try and just say hi and meet you and shake your hand right. just for a minute, you know, because I'm like, I'm right there. And by the time I got the text, it was late at night. And I'm like, Anna, it'll be one in the morning before I get back to L.A. So we didn't get a chance to meet back in July, but I'm glad in this venue, this is actually perfect. So it is fantastic, man. Big thumbs up to you, Sam. I'm glad to meet you in person. Thanks, buddy. All right, Michelin Man, I have to interview you. We were going to interview Lee and talk about the introduction of the uh, all-season tires. Uh, Lee's left, so are you excited about the all-season tires coming available for, for Grand Sport and Z06? Yeah. See, this is a lot easier interview. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and it's just fun just to be around the Michelin Man. But seriously, we're going to have more information on the all-season tires and when they're going to be available retail. It looks like it's going to be sometime in September. But we, uh, yeah, look at right there. There they are. They are right there. We'll get an up close on that for you guys. And they really make a big, big difference for you folks that have Grand Sport and Z06 that aren't actually going to be tracking your cars. You want to use it more as an everyday, as many days as possible car. That's the tire you want to get. Just can't get here fast enough. You know what I mean? Great job as always, Michelin Man. It's good to see you guys here at the annual bash event, the National Corvette Museum. That's the place to be. Here's the reason I turned the camera on. One of the guys I was talking to, and <laughs> I'm probably glad I didn't put this on the vlog with him directly, but it's funny, a lot of people have tried to emulate my promotional efforts over there. I've been coming to every one of these bash events. Now you get some other dealers that gotta come out here and check it out and see what's going on. Well, there's another dealer that was here today that will remain nameless. Oh, don't worry, that acceleration behind me, it's not bothering me a bit. It sounds freaking fantastic. Light them up, boys, light them up. Anyways, so the sales guy, the, the customer I was talking to was just looking at some of the cars, trying to get some ideas. He's thinking about ordering a car this year, maybe next year. So he's looking at some different things, badges, wings, and that kind of stuff. And this guy from this other dealership approaches him, like walks up to him, almost like if you were at a car lot, you know, kind of, hey, can I help you? Oh, you're looking for a car? You think about ordering a car? I don't know. I mean, just, it was just, you know, really, I don't know. I don't know the word I'm searching for. You, you kind of can fill in the blank there. But you come to these events, you don't, you don't want to feel like you're at a carnival and somebody approaching you trying to sell you something. All right, this is a non-invasive. This is a family atmosphere. I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> this is not a place you walk up to somebody. Oh, hey, you gotta, can, can I help you? Oh, you think about a car? And you just start quizzing the guy and questioning the guy. I hate that, man. I just hate that. And you guys know I'm a big Costco member, but don't. To direct TV people, don't walk up to me and say, oh, who's your cable provider? How oh, can I ask you a question? No, you can't ask me a question. I'm in the middle of shopping. I hate that. I just really, I really hate that. So, I might <laughs> Ryan's like, are you done ranting yet, Dad? I don't know. You know what, you guys know what I mean? And sometimes I like to turn on this camera, whether this makes the vlog or not when I'm watching it and edit. I don't know, but you know, don't you think that was kind of odd? Hey, can I help you? Hey, what are you looking at? All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Yo, man! Go, 
that ball right there. Come on, man. Throw that ball. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who's going? Who's going deep? Who's going? Who's, he's wide open. He's wide open. <laughs> You know what's pretty cool? If you're here at the track, you don't even have to be on the track. Just listen to these guys run. Look at this shot right here, man. Let's see if I can zoom. You're right across from the museum. This uh, go-kart thing is kind of new, this cartplex that they're running. And I thought it was going to be on the big track, so it looks like it's going to be its own separate entity, which is pretty cool, so we'll probably have an opportunity to do it now. Are you ready to go? It's always a new element that uh, the museum does, and uh, this is this is pretty cool. So if you're not on the big track, you know you can feel like a big kid out here with the cartplex. from the uh, go-karts and uh, I refused to lose yeah. <laughs> by, a, by about a half a second yeah. I didn't have the fastest lap so yeah. I don't know what do you think boys we're gonna do this again <laughs> all right we're gonna go again as we talked about <laughs> You know, it's neat though. I didn't know. I mean, we're just excited. You know, for 20 bucks, you do this for eight minutes. And what a wonderful experience. Knowing that they provide all that data, well, <laughs> it's a nice job. They got me hooked. It's like, yeah, I'm going again. You want to, once you get used to the tracks, like, okay, I want to better my lap. I want to better my time. And they give you all that data. So it uh, can be embarrassing or it can be a lot of fun. It's definitely a motivating factor. So if you get a chance to come out here, as we said, the uh, Cartplex at the National Corvette Museum is a new thing this year and uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I came over here man this is pretty cool all right so wish me luck I, <laughs> I want to come back to you with some good results <laughs> So, yeah, I gotta rejuvenate our bodies here. Need to get some more energy? Well, we need to eat. And guess where we're at? Smoky Pig Barbecue. Except for my arms are so sore, I don't know if I'll be able to lift the sandwich to my face. <laughs> <laughs> might, just, might just lean down like a smoky pig and eat out of a trough. How y'all been doing? Yeah, we're doing great, man. It's good to be back. Uh, place smells good and you're rocking and I'm, I'm happy for you. We're gonna do four uh, pulled pork sandwiches. You want those uh, large? Uh, it, just a regular size is good. We're gonna do the potato salad and baked beans with them all, okay. all four. You forgot that this place is here. They got their own street, so you can find it really. It's a Smoky Pig Road. You gotta come to Smoky Pig Barbecue. Just you gotta your nose. do it. Yeah, it's follow your nose. That's right. You gotta do it. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the camera. Here you go. Follow your nose. You can't miss it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, guys. This is one of the toughest segments for me to do on the vlog, and that's when. Uh, <laughs> that's when I gotta leave and I gotta say goodbye because I don't really know how to say goodbye. I always make it long and drawn out. But
Hope you guys enjoyed the opportunity to get those free ZR1 posters that we passed out. In fact, I was in there doing the autograph session, and some of the GM engineers, Taj and even Kai, the plant manager, said, uh, this is kind of a cool little poster. Where'd you get this? I said, well, our dealership made it. It's a free pass. I said, hey, we'd like to have one. So I came back to the car, rolled up a bunch, gave them to Taj. So I'm excited to hear their feedback when they saw that and thought it was pretty cool. Now, here's what's even cooler. I had the guys autograph one extra poster for you folks on the YouTube channel. Now, if you've been watching the Bash series, all of our coverage, I don't even know at this point as we're recording how many vlogs we did put up for you covering the Bash event here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But if you've been watching and paying attention, in one episode, I went through the lot and had a lot of fun and acted a little silly, as, as we like to do from time to time, and try to keep you guys entertained. But I counted how many at that particular time ZR1s were in the parking lot. Were you watching that one? Did you see how many were? Okay, if you know the answer to that in that particular episode, put the answer down below in the comment section. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel so you're eligible to win. And then I'll let you know in a future vlog who wins the autographed ZR1 poster that was signed here at the Bash event. Okay, so we get to talk to everybody here that's fans and enthusiasts that own Corvette. How about we get an opportunity to talk to somebody that builds the Corvette? My mom! Like yeah, your mom, that's right. What's what's mom's name? Nona Stark. Nona, how you doing? Doing good. Good to meet you. Good Look, she's meet. all excited over here. Got some posters for the kids and everything. Hey, doing a great job on the Corvette. We love it. I know that you you get excited when you come here and you see this kind of stuff. It's really got to make you feel proud knowing that people take to this car so well. I do. And then we were just talking off camera and I said, okay, so I got to have a little fun with you. <laughs> She's like, oh no, what am I in store for? <laughs> but majority of the people, I mean, I know that one of the highly sought after jobs at General Motors is to work at the Corvette assembly plant. And the majority of the people, I don't know what the percentage, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it's over 70% are relocated mm -hmm. to this area here in Bowling Green, but you are from this area, is that I correct? Am, I am. And I said, now let me check if you're really from this area, and I said, <laughs> I said, say the word tour. Tour. She said, so you're not from Kentucky, you gotta say tour. <laughs> I'm country, but I'm not uh, You're country. not that country, hey. Keep up the great work, Thank it's good you. to see you. Looking forward to seeing you next year where yes. we actually go through the plant and right. wave to you I while know, you're working. Right, right. right, all right, that a girl. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, I really appreciate your support, your feedback, I'm having a blast with you, through you. Stop dreaming, start driving.